Hi. I didn't see you there. My name is Ian Good. That was awkward. I'll do that again. <laughs> Oh hi, I didn't see you there. My name is Ian Goodtimes, and I make a living supporting my family by playing music in the entertainment industry. I play the bass and the bagpipes and the guitar, piano, I sing, I play saxophones, uh, harmonica, a whole bunch of other instruments I can't think of now. I also uh, do technical things. I am stage manager, production manager, tour manager, uh, audio engineer, lighting designer. I'm also a licensed pyrotechnician. I blow shit up and it's kaboomy! I'm Lindsay Goodtimes. I'm a dancer, a singer, a musician, and an entertainer. I uh, dance with many different companies. I started Femme de Foot, a fire dance company that turned into an aerial company. I've done aerial with them. I performed in the Five Hot Bitches and Space Chums and The Good Times and Circus Orange and lots of other stuff. And who's this beside you? This is Roxy Jean Good Times. <laughs> That's good. Roxy Jean, can you tell Sam what did your daddy do for work? He played bye pipes. <laughs> What does uh what does mommy do for work? My question is, uh, why did you change your name to The Good Times when you got married? Because we started using The Good Times. People started calling me Good Times instead of Good, it used to be Good Hue, but uh, then I changed it to Good Times a couple years before we got married, didn't we? Yeah, we started calling ourselves The Good Times yeah. before we got married. And then when we got married, we decided that it was only four letters. Yeah. For Ian's last name, so it's and the same that thing. women change their last name all the time, but why not change it to a name that you choose together? Yeah, and it's way more show busy because who gives a damn about Good Hue? Seriously. Not me. I would never change my name to Good Hue. That's not a Maybe good that was name. it. <laughs> yeah. Roll on our inspired you to go into the music or entertainment industry? Like, when did you start? Why did you start? How did you get into it? You can go first. Okay, well, mm -hmm. I started dancing <coughs> and when I was young, and I loved dancing. And I still love dancing, so, uh, and performing and entertaining. Uh, so I started when I was young, and then I went to a school of the arts, and then after the school of the arts, I went to a three-year training program for professional dancers. And then after that, I moved into music, and it just sort of naturally, organically, pro other things came in and started working more with music and on stage and aerial, and just I haven't stopped. Uh, I knew since I was 14 that I just wanted to play music for a living. So that's all I pursued. That's what I did. The question is, I understand that you believe that it's very important for Toronto to have a strong music industry. Uh, why do you believe this? Well, there's two reasons. Uh, one is because the music industry in and of itself creates a lot of jobs. Uh, it starts with performers and then it goes on through uh, people who are technicians, uh, producers, 
Um, there's a whole uh, huge number of people in Toronto, thousands of people, who make their living in the music business. So because we're both performing artists, it's harder because nobody has a steady job. Mm. Um, so yeah, the subsidies from the from the government have been really, really helpful to, for us to be able to work at home, get our work done while we put our kids in daycare. Because because we do have to, we can't stop for a mat leave. We don't have anybody else giving us money, so we need that, and so there's, that's been good. There's no sick days at all. So do you feel like the city of Toronto is like supporting you in your career? Or do you think they could do more you know, of that? Or? You know what? Actually, for for the kid thing. Um, the government, government, not necessarily the city of Toronto, I think it's Ontario and federal, isn't it? Yeah. Well, no, and also, so the subsidies for daycares and stuff like that really help us out. We just have to go prove that we're poor, which isn't that hard for us. And then, like, so the other kid, Roxy Jean, she's in daycare. She's uh, is subsidized by the provincial government, somebody. What is the city of Toronto doing to, to support the music industry? Well, we have to do more, but right now, um, you know, we've set up a music office, which I think is going to be good. For grant money, like from the city of Toronto or Ontario... We don't... We have, I apply for stuff, but we never get it, so I just give up. I just go back to straight up capitalism, which you work hard and you sell your product or service, which is whatever we do. One of the problems they have now, for example, are when they want to have a concert, especially one outdoors. Um, in Toronto, we make them sort of go through hoops to get permits, and uh, it isn't easy to find a place to have a concert outdoors.